Okay, so you're in Excel and you want a formula that will format your dates. The function I'm going to use is text. So in the value argument, you select the cell that contains the date you want to format, comma, and then in the format text argument, you specify your format. Now it needs to go in speech marks, but for example, I could use DDDD -D -D -D, and that will give the name of the day of the week. Space D, that will give the number of the day of the month. Space MMMM, that will give the name of the month. Space YYY will give the year. Now if I close the speech marks and close the brackets, you can see it gives me that format. I'll give you another example, text. Let's format this date. Now this time I want year dash month dash day. So I would have three Y's dash two M's dash two days. Close the bracket, press enter. You can see you get the date in that format. Now you can actually apply these formats directly to the dates. And actually this is a good way of getting used to the characters that you need to use to format your dates. So. If I select that date and I use control one on my keyboard and then go down to custom, you can see the format that's currently being used for this date, DD slash MM slash YYYY. So for example, if I just put four Ds in, I just get the day of the week. If I just put four Ms in, I get the month and the Y's, I get the year. So in here, you could put characters between the parts of the date. So you can have dashes or slashes and format your date in any way that you like. So you can either use that format within the text function or you can apply it directly to a cell. So if I put my D's in and then my M's and then my Y's, it would apply that format directly to the cell and I don't even need to use a formula to format the dates. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.